Hi, I'm Zan Patilla, a Master of Science Business Entertainment uh, student at Full Sail University. And for one of my grad projects, I want to look at Kimono Kisti Studios. New growth opportunities. Now, their new growth opportunity basically is related to edutainment. Uh, that is education plus entertainment. Looking at an example uh, from Geek Dad, the idea of edutainment is something like Disney World, where they have uh, you know giants, robots, dinosaurs, and multimedia to help kids learn the, the basics. basics of archaeology. We need a comparison for success. We look at Peter Reynolds' a company, Fable Vision, which is broken into two parts. A content-driven uh, service similar to web comics and a uh, education side called Fable Vision Learning related to edutainment and just education in general. Let's take a look at Fable Vision. The content-driven service similar to web comics does have web comics, but they also have animation, games, and other types of media applications. Uh, they also use primarily uh, Facebook, Twitter, and RSS feeds to perpetuate their free products, uh, their free content products to lead to uh, paid uh, paid content products. One of those products they make is a program called Animation-ish, which they teach kids to use to make their content-related products and other kids just to do whatever type of art thing that they do. Uh, Peter Reynolds, the founder, is primarily the artist part of the company, and his twin brother, which I couldn't find a good picture, Paul Reynolds, runs the behind the scenes, everything from corporate taxes, business planning, and occasionally writes uh, for the company, entertainment-related products. The two are a amazing dynamic uh, duo. Uh, these twin brothers now have partnership deals after 10 years with uh, Nickelodeon, uh, Parents Connect, and thus have a connection um, to uh, major mainstream media outlets. Kimono Kisti Studios is in a similar growth potential. Um, they, ha they, are, they, they have kid-friendly art, they have uh, been in uh, the industry long enough uh, to have developed communities, and they're now in a position to solve the uh, current problem um, certain creators have, which is how to grow their business and how to take it to the next level. We look at the product, uh, which is primarily the web comic, and you look at that content and you just can't help but say cute, all age-friendly entertainment. Um, we look at the top bars and we have the standards for uh, marketing a webcomic uh, and other types of merchandising. But let's look at social their social media, which if we notice is very similar to Peter Reynolds' company. Uh, they use Twitter, Facebook, and RSS feeds also in the same way to promote their primary product, which is the free webcomic. And then what happens with that free content, they move on to... Uh, other ways to uh, market their swag or other merchandising. Uh, they also use these social networks to uh, help market their products. You can uh, volunteers become part of their street teams, and they take these flyers via the internet and post them at their colleges, coffee shops, or other places where I'm guessing they're going to do a show or uh, they're going to make a guest appearance. Again, this is a standard for web comics marketing. Um, their swag, i.e., merchandising, varies from jackets to buttons to original art and to plushies and to, of course their comic and please notice that they do sell their product so they are uh, selling a, a good chunk of merchandising having sold out product is a good sign and of a health of a web content company um, in this case uh, then going with the Kurtz uh, half pixel uh, business strategy uh, they go to uh, uh, conferences like Alternative Press Expo where they'll sell primarily their book again that's their signature flag um, property but also swag like hats and uh, the other for, for, for mentioned uh, products on the internet it is a couple recently married in 2007 congratulations uh, Audrey and uh, Scott and Audrey seems to be a primary artist. She's pursuing this now full-time since 2007. And Scott seems to be the behind-the-scenes uh, man. Again, similar to the Reynolds brothers, you have an artist uh, and a business-minded person behind the artist, I'm guessing. And uh, in this, uh, other things I've seen is I've been trying to branch out in other types of products and services from uh, comic strip prints, original art, to a uh, very interesting podcast. This podcast, uh, I think, was... Um, it was pretty entertaining, but I think it uh, didn't quite make the intended audience that they wanted it to, to make. Um, but they want to branch out. This is very apparent uh, with this uh, 
asking uh, people to help translate their comic. I'm going to meet them at APE uh, 2020 this year. Hopefully I can talk to them and ask them if they did find uh, a transcriber uh, of sorts. Uh, South Korean market could easily eat up this, uh, this product uh, because I've seen similar comics do very well over there. Looking at the Robert Koo uh, take, the Robert Koo model in web comics, he is from Penny, uh, Penny Arcade, one of the most successful web comics. From his article at webcomics.com, he shows the tip, which is where Penny Arcade is, and every and all the other tiers behind. On the first tier, it would be over 500k, and they'd have to have like an LLC. In comparison, my guess is for this company is that um, they're in the middle. They do have a solid understanding of how to make money, mixed revenue stream. Uh, hopefully they're at 150k as far as uh, uh, selling their uh, their gross selling of their products um, and they on the tip though they are an LLC so they're very incorporated so I'm guessing again they're somewhere between the middle and the tip uh, for them to move on to edutainment though the some things that they'll have to understand primarily is um, their product needs to have a learning objective Right now, the more popular talked about learning objectives are math and science, as President Obama was citing some facts, uh, relating some facts uh, related to the controversial documentary Waiting for Superman. But they don't have to do math and science. They can do morality, and morality sells to all markets. Uh, we see, uh, you know, Adventures of Junior Neutron sure had science fiction, but not real science. Avatar The Last Airbender, that was a huge seller of morality. And then we have other things like Danny Phantom, Fairly Odd Parents, Same Creators, and these are all Nick Nickelodeon related products. Bottom line, the untapped venture for Namu Namu is to uh, take the same uh, kind of transition that Fable Vision did. Instead of pro uh, focusing primarily on entertainment related products, it's time to look into education related products. Um, and by doing uh, so, they'll, they'll build another set of products and services that they can sell from free content related services. Uh, these are my references. I'm using um, you know, the fair use and fair mention for education purposes. Again, I didn't get permission from all these creators, so forth and so on, so I'm sorry. But if you can, please click on those links. Check out their websites uh, for the sake of perpetuating free content on the internet. Thank you.